What role does the Declaration of Independence play in interpreting the Constitution? The Declaration of Independence is an amazing document, right? These are men who, as Benjamin Franklin said, we either hang together or we hang separately. When they put their name to that document, it was a death warrant if they failed. That's why John Hancock is now synonymous with a signature. No one remembers who John Hancock was, but they know that that's a signature because he wrote his name so bigly, big and boldly. You just said bigly. bigly. I... <laughs> and, and I just won five bucks. <laughs> He embarrassed me in front of my nephew, and he loves it. <laughs> He's the one paying me the five bucks. <laughs> yeah. The Declaration of Independence, I think. Is that where we were? Uh, I think my work here is done, but I do want to hear your answer. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, John Hancock, right? S signature. That was his death warrant. But he, he didn't want the king to have any ambiguity about who it was that was signing that document. He knew it was his death warrant. That's remarkable. That remarkable thing that uh, the men and the women who fought for our freedom. With all apologies to my British wife. <laughs> um, it, it is, however, not the law. Uh, the Declaration is not the law. It is a Declaration of Independence. The Constitution is the foundational document and the foundational law of the country, to answer your question. Um, the Declaration, I, I think, certainly informs every American and should inform a judge in understanding the background of the Constitution and our laws. It's not a document that should be lightly discarded.